Was it self-defense or murder? Today in court, why David Stahl says he killed his wife. The testimony in Stahl's own words via a taped confession. Late this afternoon, the prosecution rested its case. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ashley Hardway on what the jury heard. I did not do this intentionally. My hands were around her neck trying to keep her away from me. The jurors heard David Stahl's second interview with state police, the interview where he admits strangling his wife, school teacher Rebecca Stahl. How long did you have your hand on her throat? 30, 45 seconds, it seems, anyways. Would you say anything to her at the time? No, just stop. Jurors also heard evidence of text messages between the couple leading up to her death on February 18, 2012. The two were arguing over David's drinking all day at the bar. He claimed when he returned home around midnight, she attacked him with a knife, and that's when he strangled her. What kind of knife was it? Black and white. And did she say anything when she had the knife? Did she say she was going to stab you, kill you? No. David told police he didn't realize his wife was dead at first, and he never called 911. I honestly thought she just passed out. I thought she was just passed out. I waited a little bit, and I checked, and then it was coming, coming. I don't know if she had a hit down beside her and held her. Did you do anything else? That night, no. Just laid there and put her on a blanket. The text messages revealed that Rebecca Stahl was also arguing with her husband that night because she wanted to spend time with him and instead he was at the bar. She had just undergone a surgery that was a full hysterectomy and she claimed in those text messages that David was insulting her for her inability to have children. The court expects this case to go to the jury on Friday. At the Westmoreland County Courthouse, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.